Okay, so I'm Grand Stalker Helicopter Outward. This is supposed to be a two player cooperative RPG, but I don't have any friends. So let's just go into it alone and let's randomize a few times. That's pretty weird. Um, that'll do. So we'll play as Jim, and this game is supposed to be really difficult, supposed to be really tough on survival aspects. You have to eat, you have to drink, you have to sleep. Um, the combat's apparently pretty tough. You have to monitor your temperature um, regarding your clothes and the weather. All my life I've lived within the safety of CSO, spared the brutality of the world. For the safety of the tribe provides, our laws are harsh. The favor of my bloodline weigh heavy on me. My grandmother brought ruin to our tribe long ago, bringing a heavy blood price upon my family. I joined an expedition across the sea. That was my mistake and the the ship crashed. I have no choice but to pick my way up. Pick, my way up. pick myself up. Alright, so we are naked. Beautiful. That's exactly what we needed. Can't loot that. Oh, this is just the first level of the game. Okay, there's a sprint button. Let's get familiar with these. Can we loot the corpse? Nope. We can take the torch though. Now we have a torch. But Jesus, we are ripped! That's crazy. Oh, there's something here. Hey, clothes. We have clothes now, folks. The sun's coming up. Let's take a second torch. Oh, seaweed. Don't mind if I do. I'll need that later. I don't, I don't know what for. <laughs> something, surely. Where's oh, another torch? We're rich. Not with money, but with torches. Drink clean water. Nice. Now we got a little wet thing in the bottom left. Is there anything much over here? Machetting. I see some wolves. Do you guys see those wolves? Okay, this is bad news. Got a little energy bar. Oh, they both dodged. That's the trick, you just gotta be perseverant. Even when they dodge. If you just keep going, you'll get them eventually. Okay, we're bleeding. One down. Okay, we're bleeding more. Got him. Nice. Our health bar is super low. Our energy bars gather tree. Nice, we have some wood now. Beautiful. Oh, health is really low. Ener energy bar came back though. Could gather berries. Oh, we can. Oh, that's nice. If I got that guy out of machete, or we'd have been in trouble. Some more berries. Lovely. Okra spice beetle. I have no idea what that is. But I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's just lovely. I like the uh, giant sh seashells. Trying to get tongue twisted on two words. Look at him though. So big and sparkly. Okay, let's put the torch out because it's daytime now. Too much the light is gonna end badly for us. A skeleton there. <gasps> junk pile. In what world is three silver coins junk? Drink salt water. 
Oh, we can't swim in this game. That's unfortunate. Still don't have any shoes. <laughs> Just running around barefoot naked. Berries. Nice. More berries. C come on, angle yourself. There we go. Oh, no. There we go. I thought I had it, but I didn't. Let's just have a look. 77% food, 96% drink, 97% sleep. Let's eat some berries. Small amount of nutrition. Quickly run. Alright, well I ate 85% food now. Let's eat some more. Eating the insect will protect from the cold. That's gross. Wrap them on me. Nice. So now we're healing. Oh, you're alive. Improvise bedroll, okay. Take the bread. It's my bread now. Yeezen Argensen. Hey there. Jim, you're alive. <laughs> So this game's partially voice acted? Because he said, hey there. Where are we, Yizen? Last thing I remember, our ship was hitting a rock. We're not far from home. You can see the lighthouse from here, can't you? Okay, so it's... Half voice acted? Because he didn't say the other... Two... Lines. He's a Kazite. He was born on a ship. And again, he just said the first line. He didn't say this probably isn't the first time we had to start a shipwreck. This is a half voice acted game. It's pretty neat, but could have just left it with what was voice acted, I guess. Go ahead and sleep in one of the extra bedrolls. Okay, yeah. Two lines got dodged that time. That's interesting. Um, it was a blood moon. That's pretty hardcore. He said we we should still be able to see the lighthouse. I don't. Oh, oh, it's there. It's there. Blood moon's pretty hardcore though. All right, let's go to bed in the bedroll. Let's crawl inside. Needs sun. Sun red, sun, sun plus liquid. What? Let's just put that into orange. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I ran around the tutorial area and read everything, but this game's super complex, so I'm not going to get everything. But we'll see. We'll see if I can't figure it out. Cierzo. Is this the town we're from? So they took me home, I'm guessing? better than leaving me there. Unconsciousness comes quickly and you dream of being ensnared in something with a yelp you jump out of bed. Must have brought... Yuzan must have brought back you back... Oh, four words! Yuzan must have brought you back to your family's lighthouse. Only your aching body tells you that the shipwreck was not a nightmare. Whoa. Okay, we fell asleep on a candle. Probably should have slept in bed. Oh, boots. Oh, green workers attire. That's way nicer than what we're wearing. So these are the two beds if you played it in co-op mode. Uh, I guess you would share. Like one bed each. Primitive satchel. Oh yeah, we can equip these. So yeah, your inventory space, super harsh. That's why we have the stash, I guess. Trader garb, worker boots, spikes. Right, let's take the trader garb. Get rid of the tattered attire, one torch. Let's get rid of all the raw meats rotting as we hold it. Get rid of some of the wood, predator bones, linen cloth, hide. That stuff can all go because we don't have the space for it. Oh, look how nice that is. 
So as you can see, we have 18 carry weight in the pockets and 25 carry weight in the satchel. Outside of that, oh, look at all these berries. But that soon fills up that jerky weighted half of a carry thing. Okay, we've got bread. A recipe. That's for ingredients. Jam. Bedroll iron scrap. Ooh, a lantern. Yeah, let's have that. That's lovely. Oh, we can turn all went and on and off. Oh, this is just charming. Let's go outside. Oh, it's a welcoming party. Okay, it's not that welcoming. Rise and shine, trog spawn. You think you can nip off for four months and not pay what you owe the tribe? Was I in a coma? A blood price is sacred. You can't just shrug off that responsibility. If I don't see the money from you by the time I count to ten, you'll regret you ever came home! Chill out, woman. I just got out of a shipwreck. Yeah, you were on that ship too, weren't you? How many lives must your family be responsible for destroying before enough is enough? Okay, so that dialogue was longer than the subtitle on the screen. But it was completely different. That's really weird. I think that's quite jarring, actually, because I'm reading it expecting to hear it with it. But it just doesn't go. All right, listen. I don't have any money. I can't pay you. If you can't make the payments you missed, we will seize your home. No, not my house. Wait, this is my house. I have a nice house. Enough of this. Twelve people are dead. Stop this shameful behavior at once. To threaten someone like this while the lost lives are still fresh is an insult to their memory. Exactly. I survived and didn't murder anybody. But, Chamber Lady Aberdeen. I said that is enough. <laughs> She's screaming. If you at want him. to resume discussions after the mourning period, feel free. Oliel, see these people off, would you? Yeah, get them out. You right heard, here. Mother. Away with you, or I will personally see to it that you get double shifts of guard duty. Oof. Freedom. I'm sorry that was the first thing you woke up to. Please forgive them. Many of them have lost family and are not thinking straight. They can't take my house. If I could do more, I would. The most I can do for you is declare a mourning period and buy you a little time. Five days? That gives you a few days to pay back the money. Five days? Either gather the money or earn a tribal favor and they won't be able to touch you. Once you can make the payment, come see me. Please find a way to make it work. Man, this sucks ass. I didn't do anything. Have you forgotten why your family bears this blood price? I mean, yes. Listen well. I'm listening. You're not saying much. Bitterness runs in the tribe. How could I forget? Dozens of slain by the beasts of the Scourge. What if I just leave and don't come back? Well then. Oh. If we just run, we might survive. Then I'm going that outside does seem the walls. like your most effective option. Dangerous as it is. Never forget. No one is an orphan in Cierzo. Do not hesitate to ask the rest of the tribe for survival advice. Okay. If you can do a great deed for someone in Cierzo, we will owe you a tribal favor. Once you're ready to leave Cierzo, remember right, let me you release have me. a few days. May your ancestors watch over you. Alright, I need to get 150 silver in five days. You have an awesome sword, look at you. I'm glad you survived the wreck. So am I. <laughs> Rufus commissioned it for me as a going away present. That's an awesome but sword. But with the shipwreck, it wouldn't be right to leave so soon. Okay, she's going to stay until the morning period's over. How am I going to get I the money back? I have faith in you. You'll pull through. I mean, I'll try. Farewell, my friend. I'll do my best. 
space. We've got plenty of space. Ish, almost. Not quite, but we've got space. We've got 30 silver as well. That's probably thanks to um, killing those wolves in the, the starting area. We've got a gabbery. Oh, God. So where are we going to get 120 silver? Gabberies? Are they worth anything? They're great axe. Town hall. Look at this, got two handed axe. Accidentally swang with that. Could we just rob this place? Uh, we can. Rich attire. Wow, look at that. It's bright purple and red. That's beautiful. What else can we steal? Town key is required. That's bullshit. How dare they lock their doors? How could they? Right, we've got some more berries. I'll always be down to gather berries. Oh look, we just rest on our shoulder because there's nowhere to sheath it. Hello guard. So that door's not openable. Sea salt in. Sea salt in keep. What is it? Chill, alright, I'll leave. You. Fucking Christ. One angry person. Okay, we can't go in there. Can't go in there either. What I usually find with these hyper survival games is it's more of a micromanagement situation where you have to babysit things rather than like a realistic experience. It's like, oh, with all the Skyrim mods and stuff, you stand still and eat like 400 bread rolls. It's like, that's it, you're fed. It's like, okay. So I wonder if this is similar to that. Just a bunch of fish. Gather fish. We'll need a fishing rod, probably. Ah, oh, okay, we can't kill the birds. Oh, this is clean water. Oh, it's an awesome filtration thing. Look. Wow. Nothing really to do over here. Oh, but there is a fishing pole. Oh no, harpoon. Well, that's the same thing. Same end result, we can fish now. That's all that matters. Where's the fish? I saw a fish. Oh, there they are. Gotcha! One salmon. <laughs> that's all we need. Nothing around the back of the house. Nothing really there. He said we had to go outside, so I guess we just look for a front door sort of area. Or we could run around the marketplace. Let's do that. This is a house. Supply depot, maybe? Not being able to jump sucks. Unless, of course, you can jump and I'm just an idiot. Let's read these recipes. They stop taking up my space. He sells fish. Whoa, what are you? Amber, my friend. 
on a train. Oh, it costs money. No! Amber, my friend. I don't have money. What can I do for you? Teach me for free. <laughs> Let's go full choosing beggar. Demand that they teach us for free. Alright, you're a shop, maybe? You sell vases? Is there something you need? Okay, we can sell stuff, but we don't need most of the crap that we've been buying. Okay, he has a fish carpoon as well. Typical game markup. The their harpoon's worth 20, mine's worth 6. I don't believe that for a second. Let's buy some bandages. I bought 13 bandages. Oh, okay. It's a pending transaction. So let's put 11 of them back. Trade. And let's leave. How do we leave? Okay, the big, th big giant gate, that makes sense. Free hatchet. Don't mind if I do. Alright, let's put... Because I think this guy trains me skills. So let's equip the machete. And the torch. No, the lantern. The lantern's way nicer. There we go. Whoa. Release me. Hold up there. Where do you think you're going? Outside. I have the right. <laughs> oh, not like that you aren't. You need at least an equipped weapon, a water skin, and an equipped backpack before you're ready to face the outside world. If I let you advent with your I'm also sure you can find a Oof. spare water skin by the water purifier on the town beach. There's a spare water skin over Oh, it's... All right. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining me on this game of Outward Week didn't actually go outward we didn't leave the starting village but in the next episode we will <laughs> thank you guys for joining me i hope you like it leave in the comments if you want to see more of it there's going to be at least one more episode because i recorded batches if you don't like it i'll still play and if you do like it i'll play it some more thank you guys for joining me see you in the next video bye <laughs>